Let's go, bring it in. Find a place to sit. There were captain's meetings today, so I just want to touch on really quickly the important things, and then Dahab has some things to say from the spirit captain's meeting. Right? All right? I think at first we were just so excited to be accepted our world that it took a while to sink in that this was going to be at the same time as Ramadan. Since we have a predominantly Egyptian team, Ramadan for us is second nature. I mean, we fast and your, your day goes on. There are two big meals during uh, Ramadan. One is suhoor, the pre-dawn meal. Then sunrise hits, you're fasting from sunrise to sunset. You, you do get thirsty at times. It makes everything hard because you can't drink, you can't eat. You have to run for long hours with no water whatsoever. So it's very tough. Some people today were, were dizzy in practice because of dehydration. In a way, it gives you more power because you know that uh, there's a challenge in front of you and then you're kind of getting stronger if you go through the challenge. Ramadan is about self-control and piety. And uh, so, yeah, you haven't eaten for 18 hours, but you, you plow through it. Just keep yourself busy, keep throwing, and you won't notice that you're thirsty. Iftar is the meal that we have at sunset when we come to break our fast. Uh, it's uh, traditional to break your fast either with dates or with water. Then we pray the sunset prayer, it's called Maghrib, and after that it's iftar, so chow down. We know that we have a heavy burden, but we want to prove that Egypt ultimate is a thing. We want people to, after they play us, we're like, hey guys, this is their first time at Worlds. They've only been playing ultimate for three years. When these guys come back in four years, we're gonna have to keep our eyes on them. I'm really expecting Ultimate to just continue the snowballing effect and for the level of Ultimate in Egypt to just keep going up because that's obviously where it's going right now.